Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for a really, really epic Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing. You can tell because my voice cracked when I said it. But we have this dude. It is the Diamond Haokor Ultra 3 pack, man. This is crazy. This looks so, so awesome. And also, peep that. Diamond Hydrus X Batrix and Trox X Cyrus. Fusions are getting diamonds Oh man, like, <laughs> it look, like they already look so, 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 so crazy. Really, really awesome. And now having like the clear with them, oh, this is going to be so interesting to see just how uh, the fusion diamonds are going to work. But yeah, man, looks so, so sick. All of them do like Hydras and Batrix, Trox and Cyrus on the side. Like, look at that, man. Reptar, literally Reptar with wings. And then you got Howlcore just sitting in the middle like, yo, what's good? But, time to check out the back. All of them look so crazy. Like, look at that form for Hydras and Batrix. Oh, it's so crazy. And Trox and Cyrus, too. Really, really digging it, man. And Diamonds, like, wow. <laughs> it looks so, so great. So, yeah, man, you guys know what comes in it. Without further ado... Let's get to this opening. I'm going to actually look at the sheet for this one because this is definitely like newest wave stuff. And maybe it will hint at some things coming in the future, you know. Never know. If not, then it'll at least be the same sheet and, you know, we'll just like kind of disregard it. But you never know. Sometimes the sheet spoils a little bit what's going to be coming if we don't know already. But let's see here. Get that off there. Okay, I get all the Bakugan out. Got the cores. Get out the core. All right. Major some Batrix, Trox, Cyrus. And then the cards. All right, here we go. I gotta get this tape off here. Man, this piece of tape is, yeah. It's relentless. It's like, nope, I'm not giving up. Okay, got that. Let's see. I think this is just the, uh, this is just the rule sheet. Yeah, that's the rule sheet. Okay, so, first of all, we'll look at this. Check it out, man. It's, I think Cyrus having, like, two different Baku gear with it, um, but... Zero for Pyrus, 300 for Aquas, 100 for Ventus, Chaos gets 500, Arliss gets 200, and Darkest gets 400. And that artwork is so, so sick, man. So glad they brought back the gate cards. Like, we got to see all the homage they're paying. Even with this season, you know, gate cards, paying homage to the original series and obviously the first season. Uh, yeah, because the standard way of playing the game, paying homage to the very first season of Bakugan. The Fusions, paying homage to Season 4. Bakugir, paying uh, homage to... Season 3, Good Daily Invaders. Just crazy, man. All the homage they're paying, even with just this season. And also, a little bit with Season 2, because I'm pretty sure the voice actor for Havoc is the same one that voiced Spectra uh, back in the day. So, yeah, man. Just looks so, so cool. Before I get into them, going to look at the sheet. All right. Let's see if they added anything. Um, now, it looks like the same roster. Maybe they might have added a few uh, Bakugan to it. You know, just like design wise, uh, Pegatrix and Goreen. Yo, darkest, the darkest version of it's gonna look crazy, man. That has to be the next wave. Um, and then Trox and Nobilius. Yo, all right. Yeah, the Pyrus for it. Um, but yeah, dude, Pegatrix, Gilator, Nilius, and Enoch. That's just gonna be a wild, wild fusion. It's gonna look so cool. But. Yeah, man. Just just so much hype. And I mean, Hydras and Batrix looks really, really cool. All right. So now let's get into the cores. So let's see here. Magic Shield plus 600. That's a pretty good one. And then uh, Fusion plus 500 for that shield. Shows how Fusions are going to be really, really effective, man. Literally, it's like a trap for your opponent if they don't have a fusion Bakugan, but also it benefits you. So if they land on it, they don't get anything if they're not using a fusion Bakugan. But you land on it, you're using a full fusion deck, yeah, you get the 500. That That's big, dude. Like, that's... There's big time strategy with that. Um, but then we got uh, the regular shield, plus 200 fusion, plus 200. So, 
still I'm, I'm still wondering i'm guessing it would be 400 total because 200 right away from the effect of it but then a fusion plus 200 added with that yeah which i mean it would make sense you know it shows how it's benefiting fusions big time uh plus five for fusion bakugan with that fist plus 500 for the shield with uh that's just crazy man um plus five um for the flame fist so yeah it's a little late but all good, man. I've been working a lot and just like, you know, my brain's like jello. Because just, <laughs> you know, like when you work a lot, it's just like, you know, you're not getting like as much sleep or, yeah, that's why you guys didn't see vids from the channel for like a few days. But it's all good, man. Just use that time to uh, relax. So here is the Diamond Howlcore Ultra looking so cool. All that clear, man. The purple for the heads right there looking like they all have mustaches and such. Um, looks really, really awesome. And then got the green for the feet, the black, and then the black for the tail and all that clear. Just looks really, really sick, man. And it's B power is 400. Okay. So not the craziest B power with, I mean, if it has one of the magic shields, uh, well, if it has that magic shield, um, then it would put it up to a thousand. So yeah, man. So that's how you close it. You know, enough said I've opened it a few times. Um, but it looks so, so good with all of that clear. The black, the purple, a little bit of green. Really, really awesome, man. I really, really dig it. And then we have Hydrus and Batrix here. So uh, Diamond of Hydrus and Batrix. I'm still wondering how it's going to work, man. Because obviously the core factions being... Uh, you know, um, Aquas and Ventus. But then just the Diamond for them too. First case we're seeing of this, but yeah, man, here we go. Bakugan Brawl. And oh, it curved. Okay, here we go. Got it. And that ball form, man, crazy. And look at the tail. Like, yeah, that's that's sick. That's really, really sick. Um, Not strong enough to pick up two cores, though. Um, But yeah, Hydrus and Batrix. Look at that, man. You can see the mane of Hydrus right there, the head of it. And then also the wings of Batrix. And then the little body. Like, it's got the little claws. It's got, like, some reptar claws, you know. But that tail, the design for it looks so, so cool, man. It looks really, really cool. And then you can see uh, both factions in the gold. Let's see here. There we go. Aquas and Ventus. And his B power is 700 right away. So that's that's pretty big, dude. Especially if it has the magic shield. Like, that's that's strong right out of the gate. I'm just wondering who has the magic shield. So let's see here. Twist that. Put the head back. Push that down. Put the wings in, I'm guessing. Um, oh, the head was popping out. Okay. Got to get the head in there. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, if it will. All right. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and then twist uh, those back, and then see here. Get those wings, and then the tail. There we go, man. That's how you close it. And like I said, it looks so, so sick with the clear, the green, the blue, all the metallic paint with it. Just makes this diamond look that much more special. So, so awesome, man. And then last but not least... We have Trox and Cyrus, which, you know, flying Reptar, like, just flying at you, dude. Pretty wild. But look at that white paint they use for it. The clear, the white, and also the green just looks so, so good, man. That, that metallic paint right there looks really, really good. All right, here we go. Oh, try this one more time. It's got a big magnet, too, but it opens, dude. All right, and... It can hold two. Like, look at that. It can... Yeah, honestly, it's got a pretty decent magnet on it. Uh, for being a core, like I said, like, testing out uh, how strong the magnet is is very important because some of them can pick up two. Um, but, yeah, man, Trox and Cyrus, look at those wings right there. Still got the Reptar arms and that head. <laughs> oh, man, this ball form looks really, really sick. B-Power 500. And then look at all of the green for that tail, all the clear, the white. Just looks so, so good, man. Hey, y'all, symbol, Ventus symbol, looking so good. All right, so let's see how to close it. Uh, let's see, head in, 
fold uh, the legs back, the wings in, I'm guessing. Yup, and then the tail. All right, it's not too difficult to close. I just love how interesting it is to even close all of the uh, Fusion Bakugan, even the cores. Just so, so awesome, man. But there is Trox and Cyrus looking so, so awesome, man. Diamond, Trox, X, Cyrus. Just so, so crazy, man. But now it's time to uh, get into the cards and see if we can really figure things out. So Baku Fuser, four costs plus a thousand, which that's freaking awesome. That's a good card for sure. Uh, Moxified Cubo Beam, minus 500, one cost, also a good card. Ventus and Chaos. Uh, then we got the Darkest Fist, plus 13, six cost. Uh, then we got Trox X Cyrus, uh, 503. It is five cost for the fusion, and it has the shield with it, and uh, if I don't get tongue twisted, as well as the fist. So it can get up to like 903. But yeah, man. Both looking so, so awesome. Flip them over. And then Trox X Cyrus, 1,005. Uh, so, you know, talking about getting up to like 1,405. You know, five cost. Just love the balance that, you know, the fusions are really bringing to the game. And they look so, so awesome, man. And like I said, there's big time balance with it. Like, they might not, like, people might see, like, the B power damage and be like, oh, man, that's actually not that that much but the cores play a big role in it too because they're buffing the cores big time for fusion background it's how they're making a big time balance with the fusions uh and really diversifying the game with them just so so awesome man i love the way they're doing it um then we got hydras and batrix um 702 double shield so get up to 1100 for cost for the fusion and then flip it over hydras x batrix that artwork for it looks so sick man a thousand and six and then the two shields, so 1,406 and four costs for the fusion. And just looks so, so awesome, man. And then we've got Howlcore Ultra here. Uh, 405. We got the um, got the Flame Fist and the Magic Shield, so it does break 1,000. So, yeah, man. And I flipped it over like I was going to see something. Nah, man, it's just a regular card. Um, but I'm surprised that... Uh, you know, they didn't put, like, I wonder if they're going to have, like, diamond cards for them. Or it's just, like, they're a diamond uh, for the design and such, but it's still just a fusion for them. Which is so, I mean, no biggie. But I'm wondering if they're going to have diamond cards, like Diamond Hydras and Batrix or such. And, like, Fusion Force. Just got to wait and see, man. But, yeah, I don't I don't think so. But, you know, time, time will tell. You know, honestly, time will tell with things. So, now... Just got to have that opening action for Howlcore, man. Diamond Howlcore Ultra looking so cool. All right. And boom. All right. It kind of opened a little bit off screen, but it's all good, man. Just so, so sick. Really dig the design of this and just honored to have these diamonds in my collection, man. Just so, so awesome. Spin Master's putting in that work and it definitely shows. Even the quality of like the card art as well as the quality of the background themselves so so good man now just really want to see like the cards you know like fusion force and armored elite and such you know just getting the cards out there man but yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this review on this absolutely awesome bakugan armored alliance diamond Howl Core Ultra 3 Pack. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl. I'm about to here.